Hi, this is Mass Rundown. If you enjoy movie reviews and trailer reactions, you're in the right place. So why not subscribe and hit the like button down below. It'll really help us out. On this Top Tuesday, we're going to be reviewing number 89, The Battle of LGS. <laughs> The Battle of LGS is a 1966 historical war film co-written and directed by Giulio Ponticorvo. It stars Brahim Hager as Ali Lapointe and Jean Martin as Colonel Philippe Matou. The Battle of Algiers is based on the true story of the Algerian people's struggle to overthrow the French colonial government in the mid-1950s. The focus of the film is on the leaders of the liberation movement. So let's look at the good. The film's filmed in a documentary style and it really does feel like we're looking at true events it's very much like we just captured news footage and the directors almost spliced it together to form a story mm. and that's very effective in telling this type of tale even though we know that there was no news footage it definitely felt like it was news footage they did such a good job with that definitely and that really captures the realism of this movie because everything feels like it's real like it's happening like it's happened yeah and it's intense. It does get pretty intense at times. And it's even more amazing that we got so into the movie because the majority of the cast are actually novices. Yeah. So it just shows you how well they were directed. The directing in this movie is amazing. And I read that the director would sometimes do 20, 30 takes of certain scenes. Yeah. But just to basically put the actors through a intense tiring exhausting filming experience so they came across as exhausted and tired and struggling and it worked because they it worked it definitely seemed like the type of mood that they would have been in if they were in that situation yes. and i think the movie tried to be as neutral as it could be showing not only the bad that each side is doing but some good that each side is doing some perspective from each side and they definitely humanized both sides, which yeah. is surprising. Because when I started watching the movie, I thought that it would be a completely Algerian perspective. But actually, he switched perspectives so well, it was quite amazing. And it's not to say you sympathize with the French, because the sympathies I felt throughout the movie were with the Algerian people. And you, you felt more towards their struggle than the French wanting to maintain their power within the region. The movie was quite moving because of that and because of the switching of perspectives. And I know that this is a big picture, but I felt bad you know, when people were getting blown up or shot or something on both sides because yeah. it's sad for anyone to lose their life. I think the movie did a good job at trying to maintain you know, what actually did happen with the guerrilla warfare, even though they didn't necessarily show... The warfare that happened on the countryside yeah they kept the essence of that in the movie in the staircases and everything so you know due to budget constraints i fully understand why there were certain things that maybe weren't portrayed that some people may have liked to have been portrayed part of the movie that was really striking to me was the introduction of the colonel when he enters into the movie he's followed by his army it's the first time because up until then we've kind of seen police getting involved and small units getting involved but this was their full for show of force yeah. and it was very intimidating that scene and it was done so well and he holds himself very intimidatingly <laughs> yeah you definitely felt his presence yes and the movie is an anti-colonial form they take a stance that colonialism is bad and people need to have a right to govern themselves and to lead themselves and fight for their freedom and i think that's something that was very prevalent especially in the 1950s 1960s because a lot of countries were getting their independence and i think it's quite relevant now because there's a lot of not necessarily well there is some fighting going on but not necessarily when we're looking at more the direct conflict but what we're looking at is a lot of the consequences of what happened during history so it's something that's very present at the moment and we're reflecting a lot on terrible things that have happened and i mean in south africa where we are of course it's something that we are dealing with i think that's one of the things the movie does well it's also as a reflective piece you look back on your situations 
What I also find quite different about the movie is that they had women and children quite in the forefront. And I think for that time it was quite odd because women and children were generally not the heroes of narratives. And so it was really nice to see them play such a big part in this movie. I mean, that one scene with the kids when they're beating up that guy on the staircase because they are enforcing the group's rules about drinking and mm. smoking and stuff. That was shocking. Yeah. And it actually showed you how many people got involved, even from like the youngest to the oldest. Looking at the bed, it's not really a casual viewing experience. You, you can't just, oh, I'm in the mood for a movie, let's pop on the Battle of LGS. It's not going to work for you, probably. Yeah, I think you have to be in the mood for it. And you also have to be prepared. Yes. Because, it, like you were saying, that reflection comes into play. That's not to say it's not worth watching, because I think it's a movie that everyone should probably watch. Yeah. It's just that don't force yourself to watch it. You know, get in a space and watch it because I think it's something everyone can learn from. Yes. Whether you're interested in movies or history or just different populations, whatever the case may be. I think the ending of the movie it was amazing, but I kind of felt quite sad and happy, you know, at one point, but it was definitely moving, like you were saying earlier. And I think this movie definitely made me do quite a bit of internal reflection, just as my positionality as a white South African. I think as far as ratings go, I'll definitely give it an 8.5. And I'm honestly also, again, these Tuesday movies are very difficult to rate because there's so much they do well and there's so many points in the positive for them, but they're often not the casual moviegoers, mm. moviegoing experience. I'm going to give it a 7.5. So that leaves us with a total of an 8. Which is pretty good. And I think well-deserved because the movie is definitely really good. Considering the political nature of the movie, what did you think about it? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Later.